Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on combinations with repetition with example problem. In the previous videos, we are already discussed about six example problems on combinations. Now, in this video, we have to solve another different example problem on combinations with repetition okay now what is the given problem find the number of positive integer solutions of the equation x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equal to 17 where x1 greater than or equal to 1 x2 greater than or equal to 1 and x3 greater than or equal to 1 okay now the given equation is x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equal to 17 where x1 greater than or equal to 1, x2 greater than or equal to 1 and x3 greater than or equal to 1. Okay. Now, let us consider, let us consider 3 non-negative integers. That means positive integers, non-negative integers. So that is a y1, comma y2 and y3. So here y1 and y2 and y3 are positive integers or a non-negative integers. Because here in the equation x1, x2, x3 are there. We have to take three positive non-negative three positive integers y1, y2, y3. Y1 corresponding to x1, y2 corresponding to x2, and y3 corresponding to x3. But here x1 greater than or equal to 1, x2 greater than or equal to 1, and x3 greater than or equal to 1. Now y1 can be considered as y1 is equal to x1 minus 1. So, x1 minus 1. Okay. Next, y2 consider as x2 minus 1. x2 minus 1. Next, y3 can be considered as x3 minus 1. Okay. Now, the above equation can be defined in terms of y's. The above equation can be defined the above equation can be defined in terms of in terms of y1 y2 and y3 y1 y2 and y3 okay so now what is the equation x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equal to 17. Okay. So now uh, from this one you can write it as x1 is equal to y1 plus 1. Okay. Next here x2 can be written as y2 plus 1. Next here x3 can be written as y3 plus 1. Okay, 1 can be sent to the uh, left hand side. So, now minus 1 can be sent to the left hand side. So, it becomes plus 1. So, y1 plus 1 is equal to x1. y2 plus 1 is equal to x2. y3 plus 1 that is, is equal to x3. So, therefore, x1 value can be substituted here x2 value can be substituted here, x3 value can be substituted here. What is the x1 value? So, y1 plus 1. Next, what is x2 value? So, y2 plus 1. And what is x3 value? Uh, y3 plus uh, 1. So, that is equal to 17. Okay. So, now uh, y1 plus 1 plus y2 plus 1 plus uh, y3 plus 1 is equal to 17. 
Now it can be written as uh, y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is equal to 3 is equal to 17. Next uh, y1 plus uh, y2 plus y3 is equal to 17 minus 3 that is equal to 14. Okay. So therefore y1 plus uh, y2 plus y3 is equal to 14. Okay. Next number of positive integer solution of the above equation is equal to number of number of positive positive integer solution integer solution of the of the above equation of the above equation is equal to so the formula is here number of positive integer solution of the above equation with the repetition okay c of n plus r minus 1 comma r okay so here n is equal to 3 n is equal to 3 and r is equal to 14 okay so in the combinations with the repetition formula c of m plus r minus 1 comma r this formula has uh, two this formula has two indications uh, the second indication okay this formula has two interpretations sorry the second interpretation is number of non negative integer solutions so that is equal to c of n plus r minus 1 comma r so here y1 y2 y3 are non negative integers whose sum is equal to r value here r value is equal to 14 so number of non negative integer sum how many number of non negative integers three non negative integers so n value is equal to 3 and uh, the sum of all non negative integers is equal to r value r is equal to 14 okay substitute these values in the above equation so c of n value is 3 3 plus r value 14 minus 1 comma 14 so that is equal to c of 14 plus 3 17 17 minus 1 that is a 16 so 16 comma 14 so that is a 16 factorial divided by 14 factorial into 16 minus 14 factorial that is equal to 16 factorial divided by so 14 factorial into 2 factorial for 16 minus 14 that is a 2 factorial so it can be written as 16 into 15 into 14 factorial divided by 14 factorial it is cancelled into 2 factorial can be written as 2 into 1. So now 2 goes to 8 times. So 15 into 8 that is equal to 120 base. Okay. Number of positive integer solutions of the above equation is equal to 120. Therefore, number of positive integer solutions integer solutions of the given equation given equation is equal to 120 okay so in this way we have to solve the given problem okay so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video Please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel link. So, Divella Srinivas Rao.